Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Rad Kutarot and this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading April 1st to April 6th uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I uh, want to remind you that uh, this is going to be a general reading for a Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, the reading itself is going to resonate um, or it's going to relate for different things and it's going to resonate in a different ways and levels for every single different Scorpio. If you want, however, uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Taro and to give you a, a predictions for it for the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings, uh, starting from uh, just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going to the tarot spread for Scorpio here, the weekly tarot spread, the first card, which is marking the topic of our Scorpio weeks, uh, week that is going to be the eight of uh, wands. Followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the Tree of Wands. Then the third card, which is the uh, positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the Ace of Swords. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow here the Guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. So once again, uh, Eight of Wands followed by the uh, Tree of Wands. Then what we do have is the Ace of Swords and the final one that is going to be the uh, Nine of Cups. So <clears throat> Scorpio, uh, that is going to be a, a week of quite of an improvement. As we can see here, we do have the Ace of Wands in the prime position, finalized with the Nine of Cups, which is uh, generally speaking, the wish fulfilled. So uh, let's uh, dive deeper into the cards, uh, going through them one by one. So we do have the Eight of Wands as a general topic. As I said, numerous opportunities are coming around. Uh, they could be a uh, very small though. We're not talking of that extraordinary uh, opportunity that it is coming around and truly are unblocking our, our environment. But should you take advantage of these small opportunities, you are to make your life much easier than before. The Eight of Wands asks you to be quite creative when it comes to tackling with things. And as well, whatever options available you are considering for yourself, they need to be, they need to be faced with clear-headed mind. Otherwise, you risk to rob yourself as a matter of fact of everything. So... The way I can see the things is that you have to think very carefully, think twice before you actually determine yourself to do something here. But um, <clears throat> on another hand, uh, the week itself is not going to be uh, a, a week where you are going to be placed into a stagnation. Whatever uh, endeavors you are in or whatever difficulties you are faced, there will be always a way to a way out there will be always a, a room for improvement as well as well but once again you have to be very um aware or alert for what you are investing and how much you can get out of it again the eight of wounds it's yeah it gives you options available it opens you doors but not all of them are meant for you guys some of them just has to go by and go with the flow as as you move along and some of them which are meant for you should be uh, should be capitalized on the accompanied card here this is going to be the page of wands and now we know that we are talking for something brand new. So this is a, a brand new opportunity coming in your way. The, the Page of Swords asks you to be open for everything new. You can expect, by the way, with these cards, a, um, a message from afar, a, a very good exhilarating message uh, from afar. And also one more thing is that you are strong enough on your own and you don't need someone around you or a, a society of people around you. Therefore, just to give, giving you an example here, if you have been, I, I don't want to say blackmailed, but like twisted hands, if you do have twisted hands uh, for 
someone's involvement into your things, you know, you, you should know that you are strong enough on your own and you don't need their help, okay? Um, it just comes to a personal realization of such because even on your own, you are going to have the options available to, for example, improve your career, to improve your relationship and to improve yourself uh, overall. So as we can see, this week is going to be quite of a stirring week for us, uh, Scorpio. Many things are going to move around. Uh, I, it, it, it's just, you know, the opportunities are going to spring from every single corner. But once again, we have to be mindful which opportunities we take because not every one of them is going to be lucrative or uh, with a happy ending. So that's why we have to face them with clear-headed mind. Which leads us to the second card, guys. That is going to be the Tree of Wands. And the Tree of Wands itself, it's, um, it does display sitting on already established patterns. Which uh, in, in, the, in this specific follow-up, it does mean that these opportunities or rather like this um, advance forward in your life should happen into a, a brand new field of your life. And also with the Tree of Wands, it does look like that it's going to place you in a bit of an awkward uh, position and situation, maybe in a very chaotic uh, position as well, where you're trying to figure out, you know, what is going to be the best possible approach of action, what you're going to do from now on and so on and so forth. But the Tree of Wands into a negative position, it does point the one is, uh, how can I place it? Um, it's, it's basically you are not as far as you think you are at the current state and a bit of risk needs to be taken or rather like it's a leap of faith. It's not really a risk because risk is going to be you taking on one of those opportunities which are not meant for you. But leap of faith is going to be required from your behalf, uh, Scorpio, in order to stir your situation. The accompanied card here, this is the Ten of Cups in the... Um, the combination, uh, what we do have here is active enemies and it does look like that you should not be satisfied of your current uh, of your current results or of, your, of the current place you are in and uh, you got to move on your own. It is, it is simply what the cards are pointing are pointing guys. Again, the uh, Ten of Cups also it's about it's not even about a cooperation, but more like associating yourself with certain people or society, you know, or or these which are which you do have a, a very good terms at but at that point here with the tree of wands it doesn't look like that they can further your things anymore so whatever you are after it seems Scorpio that you have to move on um, on your own and uh, with your original strategic ideas as well. There is no better way for me to describe it, guys, because the tree of wands in the Ten of Cups, when it comes to cooperation, this uh, this specific um, this specific combo of cards, it does displays the. Um, the potential itself of either one relationship of either one career, which could be achieved with the original thoughts. So uh, just to give you an example of that, let's say that you are in a relationship with someone, all right? But uh, in the same time, uh, this relationship too much obeys the rules of the, um, of the society, okay? Uh, while uh, when the relationship obeys the rules of the society, for example, you care way too much what people think or you allow many people to be associated with the relationship itself, that does not make the relationship uh, bearable for you. It doesn't allow you to experience new amusing things in it. So what you need to do here is just push away either those influences or those people from, uh, from the relationship itself so you can open a room to experience new amusing way, uh, new amusing enterprises uh, with your partner to either boost the passion in it or to recharge the relationship with vital and passionate energy once more. <clears throat> the uh, positive approach toward the situation, that is the Ace of Swords. So here we are seeing that it's not going to be that easy. Okay, so this situation or rather like capitalizing on this open doors or openings 
for yourself, it will require some uh, drastic measures, it will require some drastic actions. The Ace of Swords manifests itself as, uh, like I said before, as a last resort or as the last possible action you, you have in mind to take in order to improve your situation and improve your circumstances. But in this case, that is, uh, if you want to be uh, happier and if you want to be more successful, that is the necessity that you need to do. So uh, in order to minimize the, uh, how can I place it, the poignant, um, the poignant manifestation of the ace, because, you know, for example, um, <clears throat> you will have to forlorn some, someone behind because they simply cannot catch up with you regarding this project or regarding you know this enterprise into your social circle. Uh, of course, people are gonna feel poignant of abandoning someone or forlorning someone, but uh, if you give yourself a bit of a time to analyze accurately the situation in the sense of that if you don't forlorn that person, this is gonna cost you happiness, then you are to diminish the despondency of that you are to forlorn someone or to forlorn certain habits or to forlorn certain positions as well and so on and so forth. It's going to be um, different for every single one of us, Scorpio. But the Ace of uh, Swords promises new beginning. All the Aces prom are promising new beginnings in different conditions, however. And the Ace of Swords promises new beginnings only to those which are determined to do whatever it takes or whatever it, it needs to be done. It's just there is a situations where one has to do what one has to do in order to improve themselves and that is your situation throughout this week. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Page of Swords. So you should not strain for conflict. You should confront the uh, what, what obstructs you here straight away with the Ace as well. When we do have the Page of Swords here with the Ace of Swords, you are to be very acute about the um, the arg not the arguments but the uh, but the reality okay so you are going to be very in tune with the reality of the situation uh, which many people are not going to be okay and it does look like as well that through it you are to receive as well a, a new source of help it's simply uh, how can I place it um, simply your original thought and your crave for uh, being happier than before is going to attract that new source of help, which may not be a, a person as well. It could be just a, a different subjects and different circumstances which are to, to relate with your new beginning. So what we do have before we go to the last card, guys, is... Um, some stir here into your situation is to happen, which will allow you to take those, uh, to make those uh, drastic measures in order to um, improve your situation or to advance into your situation, realizing that at this current stage, either into your career or either into your relationship, you are not as far as you can be. And if you approach as you have approached until this very moment, the situation with milder fashion, that is not going to cut it. So we have to basically name the things with, with, or to address the things with their true names and just say the truth, okay? So uh, just to give you an example here, uh, let's say that you are in a relationship but you no longer love your partner. Actually, there is nothing uh, tying you with that relationship anymore. Uh, and you cannot approach the situation with a milder fashion. It is simply you have to be drastic. You have to be radical. You got you to gotta confront your partner and say, I don't have anything for you anymore, you know, and we have to part ways because I'm feeling miserable because I feel that I can, I'm stifled, you know. I need to open room for someone else to come into my life. Uh, it, it is as simple as that, Scorpios. And should you follow this, um, this guidance of Tarot, the last card that we do have, that is the Nine of Cups, which, like I said, it does point to wish fulfilled. That is at the end of the week. Should you uh, have the determination to do what it takes, in order to capitalize on those small opportunities and to stir a new beginning in your life. So a lot of content, a lot of sensual joy as well. It is what awaits you at the end of the week. And uh, this 
joy and this happiness and this wish fulfillment, however, at that point, end of the week is going to be just a temporary one, but it, it should be, how can I place it? It should be uh, secured if you want to traverse it into a long-term happiness. The accompanied card that is going to be the nine of pentacles. So a lot this, uh, the uh, formation here that will be the passive supporters, uh, passive friends, excuse me. And for what it seems you are to have success into your business as well, harmony into your relationship. Uh, this, the, the um, nine of uh, pentacles, it does uh, contribute additionally to the, um, carefree behavior and as well the content a lot of achievements are awaiting you forward a lot of conquests as well the nine number nine is associated with emotions and with these positive cards you're going to have a lot a lot of positive emotions and to me it looks like a liberation as well nine of uh, nine of pentacles is also about the singular card you are finally going to be able to breathe you finally are going to realize how strong you are in reality here at the end and it does look like that you're not going to need anybody uh, to um to feel happy once again so you will take care for your own happiness and you will be slave to anybody no more so that being said, Scorpio, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for April 1st to April 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, as a general reading, this reading is going to relate into uh, different things and in a different ways for every single different Scorpio. But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you a prediction for its future, uh, that is a subject for a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.